development is is the moment of crisis because of uh, the Chinese government is stepping in and essentially saying, hey, guys, the party is over. We need to regulate it a little bit. Is this now becoming a crisis or did you really mean it that it's been a mm-hmm. crisis for more than a decade? Uh, yeah. So I, I don't know if you guys have ever done an episode on Minsky. <laughs> like, Min- no, <laughs> yeah, we have that stuff. <laughs> Maybe we should. So uh, according to Minsky's theory, um, basically investment enters into what's called a Ponzi phase. Uh, when I'm sorry, at what phase? A Ponzi, like Ponzi. Oh, Ponzi, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ponzi <laughs> phase. When, uh, let's say you invest in a business, right? A real mm-hmm. or, you know, selling ice cream or, or whatever it is. You borrow $100 to invest in, in the business, uh, let's say at 5%, right? So every year you have to pay $5 in interest. Uh, so for Minsky, a, a investment enters in the Ponzi scheme. If let's say you set up an ice cream shop in one year, you could not generate $5 in profit. You know, you're generating $3 or $4 in profit. That's not enough to pay the interest on the debt that you took out to invest in that ice cream shop. So for a lot of uh, analysts like me and Mike Pettis, uh, we see this as a big problem. You know, it's, it doesn't mean that there's a crisis or whatever. It's just that, you know, the underlying asset is garbage because uh, it's not able to generate cash flows sufficient to pay even the interest. Um, so is it is it akin? Are you drawing analogies to the current crisis in China? Yeah. So, so in China, uh-huh. a lot of local government investment companies that are you know um, have a land bank, they're building infrastructure, and even some property developers. They have been in this Minsky stage or the Ponzi stage of the, according to Minsky's theory, for quite some time. So oh, wow, borrowed a lot of money. So if you look at like Evergrande, for example, you know they borrowed you know three hundred billion dollars in debt. You can do some simple calculation. You know, let's say they're paying on average five percent in interest, which actually they're paying even higher. 